stuck at home and you don't know what to do. Hold on, baby, Rhonda, she's got you. Grab your computer, log on, baby, you got the power. It's the Rhonda Sheer Social Life. It's the Rhonda Sheer Social Life. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Um, thanks for sticking with me. We took a little hiatus, and so we were mixing up some of your favorite old shows um, and playing some of the best interviews. But we're live tonight. We are back live, and I have the fabulous Judy Tenuta joining me and hoping that comedian Jay Hewlett will pop in later as well. But in the meantime, we're going to do the special little New Year's Cooking with Rhonda. Hit my theme song. Wait. Cooking in the kitchen and the smells sound nice. Cooking in the kitchen with Rhonda. <laughs> okay, so I have to tell you guys what I've been up to, and I hope everything and everyone is safe and that your New Year's and holidays are great. I know it's like way into the New Year's now, but um, and hopefully you're you're still keeping up with your resolution. I gave mine up on New Year's uh, night on New Year's Day, um, but let's see what's going on. So. Um, cooking show. So I'm writing a cookbook right now and I'm going to be selling some spoons and some really cool things really soon to do with cooking. So I hope you guys love cooking as much as I do because to me cooking is all about love and passion and sex and sex appeal and all those good things combined. It's like a big bowl of love. So and of course I'm going to always have my sexy fabulous guests and funny guests on as well. We're also looking to reboot up all night this year. So I can't tell you when yet because we're kind of waiting to see what's going on with this play. Um, so, you know, hang in there. Um, speaking of that, I hope you guys are staying safe. And remember, we need our masks more than ever. And we sell the most amazing masks. You can get them either right on RondaShearSocialHour.com or go to RondaShear.com and get your official, the original Up All Night logo. And you can buy them one at a time to, for whatever you want. And um, they're great, they're, they're um, cotton, they're cotton line, you can just throw them in the washing machine. Really, really fun and super, super comfortable. Okay, so let's get cooking. Oh, and by the way, Cameo. Ooh, I've been getting some spicy Cameo requests lately, and I mean spicy. Some of my up all night fans have been reaching out to me, asking me to do things that, guys, I can't do some things. I might show a foot, but I ain't showing the girls, you know what I mean? Like, I'm getting like requests to show the girls. I'm like, hmm. Well, maybe for enough money. Just kidding, I wouldn't do that. Anyway, um, thank you for reaching out to me through Cameo.com. We're having a blast doing that. So if you want to send yourself or someone special a personalized message, video message from me, go to Cameo.com slash Rhonda Shear and book me. And, you know, you can request what you want me to say, uh, not what you want me to do. Well, you can, what you want me to do within, you know, there's boundaries. All right, so um, lots of things to promote, but right now we're gonna, I'm going to tell you about what I'm doing in the kitchen tonight. It's super, super, super easy. So I'm calling this Super Bowl food because that's what it is. You can do Super Bowl and tomorrow. I am going to be watching the Saints Green Bay. Not the Saints. Oh, sorry. Woo! I was I was cheering for the Saints, but I am my second team is is obviously where I live, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So I'm cheering for Tom Brady and the Bucks tomorrow. So this is a great dish to make quickly before the game. So anyway, here we go. This is what quiet team, my team is talking because one of my cameras, you might see my husband coming in and out because my cameras are funky tonight. But anyway, here we go. This is going to be a fried rice meal with chicken, except guess what? We're going healthy tonight. We're doing fried cauliflower rice so you can cauliflower your own rice by making it by you know putting it in a, a blender or in a food processor or you can actually buy it this way as i did from the store so it's already done and it's like rice except there's no carbs obviously or just vegetable carbs so it's made with cauliflower rice let me go take you through the ingredients of this really really simple easy easy dish okay so we're going to have our onions you know I like my onions, about two onions in there. We have our garlic, always oh, some garlic. Remember, I'm from New Orleans, we, we are spicy cooks. You're going to have your other fresh vegetables, some carrots, some mushrooms, 
some, what do you call those things that are chopped up? <laughs> water chestnuts. These are out of the can, so they're not fresh. Water chestnuts, chopped up, but very Asian. Um, and then you've got some green peas, just like just like the fried rice, except no carbs. And then we're going to use some, some goodies like some sesame seed oil, some fish sauce, fabulous, um, some soy sauce, the low sodium one. I'm going to throw in some sesame seeds. I'm going to throw in a little ground ginger. And then we're going, to, I have two pounds of um, nice uh, chicken. So chicken, I mean, that is very low, low, uh, you know, calories. So here's what, what, and two eggs, two eggs. Well, I'm going to show you how we're going to scramble those eggs up in, in a little bit. Um, look how, you know, it's all about the serving bowl, right? Are these not the cutest serving bowls? My friend Jenna gave me these years ago, and my husband found them today. They are so perfect. Look, they get little chopstick holders. This way I do this with chopsticks. And I have my crew. I have Gina Marie here and my husband. We're going to feed us all, and um, hopefully you'll make some of this too. Now, we're going to do hair. I don't have my little hair music tonight, but when I say hair or I touch my hair or you talk about hair, have a cocktail. Cheers. Hair. Woo! Hair. And hi, Jerry. Hi, everybody. Thanks for already tuning in. I love Erica. I love my Erica and my Jason and my Joe. Mmm. So good. Hi, Joe. I'm going wild. I'm feeling wild. Hopefully, you're cheering for the Bucks tomorrow. All right. So before we find Miss Judy Tenuta, star of stage, screen, um, theater, Emmy nominated, um, Grammy nominated, um, movie star, the most fabulous comic of all times, and have you ever seen her do her malaria? Kind of a take on our first lady, our former first lady. First lady. All right, so how we're gonna start? Woo! So I hair get away. Hair, hair. I saw hair get away. <laughs> I haven't been live in a while. Sorry, guys. I'm all crazy. All right. All right. So we're gonna start with the onions and the garlic. Head over to the sink with me. I mean, rather to the stove. We're gonna put the get the heat up. Pour a little olive oil in there, not too much. Are we on? Yeah, you're on. Okay. Gonna let that get a little hot, get a little hot, get a little hot. Oh, there's my camera. Hi, camera! <laughs> Hi, everybody! Oh, I'm so looking, I look very small because the camera's so high. All right, here we go. I'm gonna just. <laughs> Okay, well, it didn't really heat up yet, but that's okay. It'll get going. Just going to marinate, saute, marinate, whatever you want to call it. Is my fire on? Yeah, fire's on. <laughs> Don't you love cooking in the kitchen with me live? You know, there's not one cooking show on the air that would dare to cook live. I'm the only fool that would do this because anything could happen, including my pot catching on fire, anything. Could happen. That happened the other day, by the way. Oh, honey, I almost look. I actually did burn my spoon just you now. I don't think I should cook with the spoon now that I had it. That's actually one of my favorite ones. Well, maybe you can just shave it. File it? I'll sand it off. My husband said this is his favorite spoon. I just caught it on fire while I was kidding about catching things on fire. Only Rhonda could do that. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay. So they're sauteing in here. Just a little bit, a couple of minutes. Now, while I'm doing that, you know what I'm going to do. It's Saturday night. How do you need to top me off? Cheers, here. Okay, so I have to promote a couple of other things while uh, my onions, you know, I love promos. So, have you been to RhondaShear.com lately? Because we got sales, sales, sexy girl, sexy intimate apparel, fabulous intimate apparel, and you gotta go check it out. So, check out RhondaShear.com. You can also do the mass there. You can get my signed book, and my book is called Up All Night, and it's really quite fabulous, and I know you'll love it. So, I really want you to uh, check that out. All right, a little skin here. We don't want any onion skin in our onions. All right. 
Here we go. Now, I'm going to add the chicken. I don't know why I do kind of weird accents when I cook, but I do. <laughs> okay, so when you put the chicken in, you want to definitely kind of chop it around and mix it with the onions. You don't want it to be like one big old hamburger or a chicken burger. And you want you want to brown this meat till the pink is all gone. So chopping. So you know my friend Judy. Let me you know she's so beautiful and she's so funny. But you know I told Judy I asked her I said I'm going to be cooking tonight. I think she was mortified by that. But then this is a long spoon. My husband loves these long spoons. I have to tell you this long spoon is not good for everything. I think I'm going to get a short spoon. Um, it's a short pot. It's a short pot. It's kind of like a wok. If you have a wok, this would be really good to do in a wok. You have a deep pot, and you need a long spoon. <laughs> I'm short, short, so everything is short. Okay, my husband loves those long spoons. All right, so Judy was mortified when she thought I was going to be doing chopped liver because I was going to teach you all a really good chopped liver, but most people don't like chopped liver, but my chopped liver is amazing. So let me know if you like chopped liver or not, and I'll do it another time when Judy's not online because Judy, the smell of liver, or the, even if you just talk about liver, she wants to throw up. So I didn't want to do that to my fabulous guest tonight. Okay, we're just going to let that hang out. Honey, you need to top off my champagne. You know, I, I like to be topped off. I never like to have an empty glass because I am the kind of girl that sees everything with a glass half full. Not half empty. Okay. Isn't that looking good? So I'm going to add a little salt and pepper because I'm going to be adding salt, soy sauce. So I don't want to add too much salt. I'm going to do my light salt. One shake. One shake. One shake. One shake. And then I'm going to add a little pepper. A little black pepper. A little black pepper. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be doing some French kind of characters very soon. I have a character named Mademoiselle Wee oui, Wee. Oui. Uncle Poo Poo and Aunt Wee Wee. And her best friend and her boyfriend is Uncle Poo Poo. So you're going to meet pretty soon with their little berets, Mademoiselle Wee oui, Wee oui, and Uncle Poo Poo. They love to cook. But they also love to cook. They love to cook and they love each other so much. And uh, by the way, um, Professor Cocktail will be back. He stopped by earlier, and I tried to get him to stay, and uh, he was like going to go drink somewhere. <laughs> so, you know, that's what he does. That's what Professor Cocktail does. Okay, this is doing very well. I'm so sorry. Can you believe that I burned my husband's favorite spoon? Look at that. Can you see close? I did. I burned it. I hope he can fix it. All right, now I'm going to add the garlic. So horrible. I mean, I was saying on live TV, you never know what will happen, and then what happens? I burn the darn, you know, spoon. His favorite spoon. Maybe I did it on purpose. Okay. Anybody making comments? Oh, no. Yeah, we've had a Okay, I'm gonna let this sit here so I can come talk to you guys, and maybe I will introduce Judy now. Is Judy around? Yeah, she's here. Okay. Yeah, let's let's let me come over and let me introduce her properly. Okay, so you know I love Judy Tenuta. I've had the pleasure of working with her several times on TV shows, in a cooking show. We did a cooking show a long time ago together, and uh, on specials and a film that she produced. And I just think she's the most talented, most generous, big-hearted lady. And her characters. I mean, follow her Instagram and her Facebook every day. I just laugh hysterically. And um, let me bring out my good friend and the most famous female comic of them all, Judy Tenuta. Oh, Rhonda! Oh, I'm a little bit fuzzy. Did I get high? What happened? No, no you're not fuzzy. You just think you're fuzzy, but you're not over here. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not. Yeah. Oh, wow. Rhonda! <laughs> Are you are you malaria tonight or are you Judy? Oh, oh yes, yes, let me. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, malaria, malaria. Oh. She was a former first lady. She just went to Palm Beach. 
as you know, I I I I love cooking. I love cooking with you. I love cooking with you. I'm excellent cook myself. Oh wait, you have to see my shoulders. Okay, that's better. Yes, you know, I've been so busy since we've been home. You know, because what are you doing? Well, you know, I have to look at my Birkin purses and my uh, Gucci gowns and, uh, you know, look at my jewelry. Yes. Okay. Yes. And that, so, takes a long time. that takes a long time. Oh, it does. It does. Are you going to divorce Donald? Are you divorcing? Um, well, I don't, I don't want, I want to check with lawyer first. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I don't know if um, I have to see. I want to make sure that, you know, I have enough money to fly on my Learjet. Yeah. Or something in Paris. You know, you know how important it is to go shopping. I know. I know. But what about, what about, um, are you going to miss Air Force One? Or are you going to be good with a, a little tiny Learjet? Uh, uh, well, you know, I, I, I made Donald make a copy of the Air Force One. We have a copy of it in my go in our uh, in our big. Um, you know, we're here in Palm Beach. You know, in Palm Beach, we call it the Kingdom. It's the Kingdom. Yes. And, well, I have a Kingdom Airport. So, uh, yes. What? So yes. we have the Kingdom Airport. So I have my. Uh, uh, malaria Air Force One. <laughs> it's a good yes, for me and Baron. Oh, Baron, how is Baron? Oh, he's so good. Did you see him grow up? How did he grow up? No one saw him grow up. I know, but he's so tall. He's taller than his father. I know. I, he's oh. very tall. Maybe one day he will speak. I don't know. But it, you Wait, know. Can you talk? I have to stir my chicken, Malaria. I know you're the former first lady, but you know you got to do this stuff. Yeah. What? What did you put in there? Tell me that recipe. Okay. You. You know the whole family would like this because it's very healthy. Very yes. healthy. And I was going to do chopped liver, but I heard that you don't like chopped liver, so I didn't go that direction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. I, I yes, I don't, I don't. I'm not crazy about, but you know what? I do like the duck pate. Oh, uh, it tastes like a duck pate. It's just a chicken liver, though. Oh, okay. Well, you have to tell me it's duck pate because that's what I, that's what I have in Paris. You know, you're so silly, you little malaria. So, you know, everyone's asking me, I mean, I, I love you and I know you're the first lady and all that sh shit. I mean, uh, <laughs> pardon me, but um, everyone wants to see Judy Tenuta, who I know was- Oh, oh, oh okay, bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye, Gloria, come back hey, soon. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> I, let, I let malaria borrow my jewelry tonight. Yeah. 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 We're in the kitchen, we're in the kitchen, we're in the kitchen tonight. Rhonda's cooking and I'm eating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. I like that. Rhonda's in the kitchen. You know, I was just talking to someone how hard the accordion is to play. But yet your mama, your mom pushed the accordion. And it was your magic, it was the magic bullet, so to speak, into Hollywood. Like the accordion is it, but it's so hard. Yeah, it's it's uh it's it's everybody I identifies me with it, you know. Yes. I think I'll sing a song for all the men out there. Yeah. I want a guy with a mobile home. Who has an extra Y chromosome? I want a guy who can retain water in his head and ride me horsey back like Mr. Ed. <laughs> I, I, I hear you. Oh my God. You are, so funny. you are so funny. All your fans are like, Andre is like loving you. They love Judaism. I've been hearing that. All your books. Uh, I'm going to go stir. Tell everybody where they can get your books while I go stir. Oh, get my books. Where are my books? Oh, here they are. Wait a minute. Don't look at my butt. I'm going to get up there. I'm going to get up now. And don't you dare look at my butt. 
Okay. Now look at it. No, 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 Okay. Oh, okay, good. I mean, everybody wants to know where they can find Judy's books because, you know, they're amazing. Oh, yes. Well, my very first book is called The Power of Judaism. Oh, oh, there it is. And, uh, you know, you can, I think the way, the best way is on Amazon. Now, it's not like I'm married to Jeff Bezos, but everything, you know, everything is on Amazon. You know, Rhonda, I don't leave my house. I get everything on Amazon because I have everything. Well, you know why, my dear? Because here in California, we have so many more people. That, you know, you know, and and you know, I, the guys has to be careful. I can't. I can't. No, you know. you can't go anywhere. You can't. No, no I'm I'm not, but Amazon. You you can ask for the most random things. I mean, if you're thinking of something really bizarre that you need. Yes, they have it. They, they have it. Like they, they, have, they, have, they have kaleidoscope goats. <laughs> you can get goats that <laughs> it's just really so, weird. So what made you want a kaleidoscope goat? No, no, I just wanted to see all the weird stuff that they, that you could get, you yeah. know. I know. You you get get and, and then they have a selection of them, and not only do they have a selection. But then they tell you you can get those goats at a better price from someone else. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, so you know it's it's hard to resist. Oh wait, this is my other book. Uh, uh, oh, oh wait, I want to make sure it doesn't reflect. It's, it's called Full Friend of Tenuity. Oh, that's terrible. Tenuity. Oh. Yes. Are there, are there sexy pictures in there? Uh, well, oh my God. Oh, look, here's here's one. Here, wait. Let's I'm see. just stirring. I'm just going to show some pictures while you're. I'm stirring. Here. Yeah, show pictures. I'm showing everybody. There's a picture. I'm trying to make it so the light isn't there. That's a, that's a good picture. Oh, wait. I oh. have. Oh, wait, oh, here I am. Oh, I forget that I have another camera. So, you know, we haven't been live in a few weeks because I took, oh. I took, I took off, you know, for the holidays. So I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, of course. And I'm talking, okay, so Judy, I'm going to be doing this cooking thing. So you really need to get your cooking together because, you know, I'm going to be selling spoons and cookware and having guests, you know, when the place well, is. I have to set up, a, uh, I have to get uh, uh, Frodo. Frodo is my guy. Uh, thing and uh, i've got to get him to set up my stuff in the kitchen <laughs> i don't oh, really I, i've seen you with a lot of pies do you bake or what? yes i love pie well no no people give me pies i <laughs> just because i said i like pie i get pies oh so, my gosh yeah. our, our friends love pies they love pie so What's your favorite pie that you can do? And then you have to come back soon and do it. I love, I, I, I would say that I love cherry pie. A really great cherry pie. It can't, it can't be too tart. It's gotta be yeah. the best pie, the cherry pie I ever had was at, now I'm not name dropping, but it was at Malaria's house. You know. <laughs> Well, wouldn't that just be so apropos to find a cherry at Malaria's house? Malaria's house. Ah! <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, but, um, you, found, you found Malaria's cherry because she's been looking for it. Oh, I know. We'll never find it again. It's okay, you know, once you've been there and done it. Okay, now I have to add a little, uh, a couple more things now, Judy. Oh, yeah. So you put in there, this is rice cauliflower, right? Yes, but I'm not going to do that yet. Yeah. I have I love, yeah, it's I, very, very healthy. You can oh, do this. Okay. Yeah, I love uh, things like that. I like rice, cauliflower. I like cauliflower. Well, that's and, like, you weigh two pounds. I think you eat just cauliflower, and that's it. No, I don't. Don't you see me eating pies? I'm in the closet with Judy. I do see you in the closet eating pies. <laughs> closet because I'm so ashamed that I have I keep eating pie. So I hide in the closet. <laughs> and everybody sees me do it anyway. Anyway, so uh, I'm in the closet. Okay, I'm just lowering that so I can talk to you because I want to talk oh, to you. Okay. 
No, no, that's good. Oh, wait, here's a picture of me as, as uh, I, I can't see. What uh, is that? What is that picture? Oh, that's me from my music video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With blonde hair. Yeah. Wow. I, you look great. That's this great. Is bad. This is bad. I'm drinking and driving. Don't do that. No. no. Okay. But you know what everybody's asking for? Do we have a Pepsi commercial around? No. Oh, no. It's Diet Dr. Pepper. Oh. It's Diet Dr. Pepper. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to the soldier. Here's a really good picture of me as Lady Gaga. You got to see. Oh, my gosh. That is a great picture of you, but much prettier than she is. Yeah, she's not real cute. No offense. She's not. I she's love her. her. I love her. But, oh, I love her, too. It's, it, imagine her without makeup. Oh, I'm being so naughty tonight. I'm being so <laughs> naughty. I'm being so bad. I'm gonna throw in the carrots now. Oh, oh, good! I love, I love all vegetables. Yes. Um, so that sounds good. I love all things. You like all things green. I do. I love, I love all. No, but I. It doesn't have to be green. I like all vegetables. I don't know. So, what are people doing right now in California? Like, is everything really that shut down? Is restaurants open? Is anything open? No. We cannot go look at this, Rhonda. I, I, I. Wait a minute. Am I fat? Wait. Yeah. Is she fat? Yes. Oh my God! You're so skinny. No, but I can't. You can't get any food. <laughs> no. Well, maybe that's what I need to do. I, yeah. You're so tiny. You are. This. I mean, you're always tiny. What's going on? I, I, I can do. No. Well, you know. I, 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 oh, he's looking for your Dr. Pepper commercial. So everybody's oh, oh, okay. Well, is that, well, that, is that, that, is is that Gene? It's Gene. He's loading in your Dr. Pepper. Uh, it's Gene. It's Gene. You, know, you know, Gene loves you. I love you, Gene. Gene is, uh, you he know, so do you much. know what happens to Gene? <laughs> no, he's not. Not. You know, wait, when when Gene has a little puff of something, he's hygiene. So. <laughs> I love that. I didn't know if he was allowed, uh, if I was allowed to say that, but. Oh know. my gosh, but you know, Gene doesn't even, he'll have a glass of wine every now and then. He's such a good boy. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Okay, so, you know, I'm going, look, I'm going crazy, Judy. I'm going to like now just. Throw in stuff because oh, is that uh, okay? Tell me all the stuff that I'm is. throwing in some soy sauce, some fish oil, and some sesame oil. Let's go do it. See, I, I, I think you're, you're what they call an impromptu cook. You can you don't need, you don't need measure. No, I don't even have to do that. I'm not good with numbers. <laughs> Listen, my favorite way to cook. Is uh, to call Bistro Gardens. And <laughs> oh my God, my favorite restaurant in the world. So I love Bistro Gardens. Oh, Rhonda, it's so sad. They closed it because of. Was it even the one in the valley? What's there? Yes, in the valley. They closed it. I'm so heartbroken. Oh, that makes. Wait a minute. Was it open all these years and they just closed it? Was it open all these years? Yes, they just closed it a couple months ago. And Jerry Belly. <gasps> no! Yes! It's religious for comics. It's it religious. Jerry's Deli, and they <laughs> closed it. <laughs> we have to it. Oh, wait, we have our Diet Dr. Pepper. Okay, hang in there because everybody's asking for your Diet Dr. Pepper, and I'll go see them. <laughs> because you're so gorgeous in these, all right? And I'm just going to put some more stuff in. in, in so. You know what scares me? When you're forced to be nice to some whacked out loon tune just because she lives in your body. Oh. Then you have to share your thoughts with her and your drinks. That's why I buy two cans of Diet Dr. Pepper. She likes the unique taste, and I like the way it keeps her from turning into a big old bull moose. Down, bossy! Diet Dr. Pepper, like nothing else. I'm Judy the Petite Flower. Oh, and in my profession, when you want to maintain a goddess-like figure, but still indulge yourself, only one drink will do. Diet Dr. 
Mr. Pepper. Oh, it's you need to be a Nice! Gotta roll! Try to get down to the local food chain! Diet Dr. Pepper, like nothing else. Yeah, makes me feel like a woman! Oh, it's not easy being a petite flower. Sometimes you gotta sweat like a sow! But you know how I pamper myself. I drink Diet Dr. Pepper. Oh, I'm glad I pumped up! It's so unique. It's got a taste that'll please without the calories. And let's face it, you can't get a body like mine in a bottle unless you push real hard. Diet Dr. Pepper, like nothing else. Attention, macho men. How would you like to worship the goddess? Like these beefy burritos of manhood. Give me your worldly possessions. Yeah, like you'll miss that chainsaw. Hey, drink Diet Dr. Pepper. It's not a wimped out diet drink, no. Its unique taste turns mere mortals into my personal love slaves. It could happen. Diet Dr. Pepper, like nothing else. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're good. Those, okay. Can I just tell you, I mean, you're gorgeous, but those commercials are breathtaking. They're like mini. They say no expense. Did you see the production? Oh, uh, you could see that was like Cleopatra. It reminds me. That's what it reminds me. I was like, this is Cleopatra. You don't make anything like that anymore. Oh yeah, no, they can't do it. Everything's done on an iPhone now. Are you kidding? All right. Speaking of speaking of commercials, Judy, I have to go to commercial. Are you gonna hang in there with us? All right. Wait. All right. Don't go away. We're okay. gonna go back, and then I'm gonna finish my dish. Okay, and then I gotta go. Oh, but you can go. Now. Okay, I'm gonna let you go now because I'm. I might burn something. I already bur burned. Burn it. Okay. Thank All right. You, Judy. Please feel good. Okay. Bye. Okay. It can happen. Bye. 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 Judy Tenuta, she's going to come back with her pies very soon. I'm going to hold her to it. Okay, got it. And we'll be right back after this commercial, and I'm going to take you to the next step, and we'll finish up our, our dish. Okay. Hi, I'm Rhonda Shear, and you may remember me from USA Up All Night, or perhaps you've seen me on HSN selling my own line of Rhonda Shear Intimates. Or maybe you're watching my new show, RhondaShearSocialHour.com. Well, if you want to watch those and a lot more, you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Rhonda Shear TV at YouTube. All of you have been looking for up all night clips where they're all there, hundreds of them, with your favorite stars and celebrities and fun TV commercials and all kinds of random clips. Things that'll make you laugh, things that'll make you cry, things that'll make you go, ooh! Anyway, join me at Rhonda Shear TV at YouTube. The address is right there. See you there. Hi, it's Rhonda Shear, and you may remember me from USA all night. Did I get you through puberty when you were a mere teenager? <gasps> were you sneaking down the stairs and putting the TV on at 10 p.m. or later and watching those sexy films? Ooh, I bet that was me and you were doing that. Anyway, you can book me at cameo.com slash Rhonda Shear and I will have a private message for you. Anyway, book me on cameo.com slash Rhonda Shear. Oh, hello! I'm back. <laughs> did you see that my husband? Did you fix it, honey? No. Nope. Oh, we were we have we were having some technical difficulty. Um, but here, let me just show you what's going on. Because uh, Judy is fabulous. Is she not fabulous? I've never like you know cooked and done that before. So what I did was you know I have the chicken and I threw in green peas and actually they were just frozen green peas that I thought out and fresh mushrooms, which are like cooking right now. I threw in some soy sauce, and literally, I did not measure, but I threw in my soy sauce, my fish oil, and my sesame sauce, and a little bit of brown ginger. So, got that going on. I'm waiting for the cauliflower at the very last, because I don't want it to get too wet. I want it to be more rice-like. 
And I'm going to do the scrambling of the eggs now. So watch how I do this. It's going to even be interesting to me. So I'm going to go over here. Woohoo! And I'm, oh, by the way, while I'm doing this, so there's two eggs that I'm going to just kind of like whisk around. Um, I want you guys to go to my site and do something really special for me because people in my family had heart problems. And I lost my, my dad to a heart attack many, many years ago. So um, we have on my site, runnersure.com, when you check out, you can just add as much as you want or as little as you want um, when you check out. Or even if you're not checking out, just add a little bit to the American Heart Association. And we're partnering them with them in February because that's heart week. I'm a heart month. So please do that for me, whatever, just tiny. It doesn't matter what it is. And um, it's huge because, you know, I don't know if you all know this, but heart attacks, literally, they, they kill more women a year than anything else, than breast cancer or anything. So it's really good for women to be aware of, you know, heart issues and what can happen. All right, enough about that. So I, am, I scrambled my eggs, or rather I just kind of whisked them around. And now I'm going to come up over here. I'm going to make a little room in the pot. And I'm going to just kind of scramble them, heat them up. Hmm. My vegetables need a little bit of water, but that's OK. I'm going to cook this down. And then we're just going to mix it all up in a minute. Get that heat up a little bit. So isn't Judy hysterical as, as Malaria? Oh my gosh, she can do so many characters. She's amazing. Amazing, amazing comic. This must be, I know it's so hard for my comic friends right now because they can't perform. And we really need that. We need that. We need, we need some laughter in our lives. Okay, notice it's looking kind of yucky, but it's going to come together. You watch. I guarantee, I guarantee, as they would say. But more importantly, I'm grabbing my hair champagne. So cheers, hair. Mm. Mm. It's just really good champagne. Let me see what my husband opened. Mmm, it's a California one, DBX. Um, this is Mum Napa Valley. It's a really good champagne. It's actually called sparkling wine because you can't say champagne unless it's from France because it's the champagne. From champagne? It's from champagne. Like from New Orleans, but it's from Champagne. Um, but anyway, this is faux champagne, but it tastes like champagne. And uh, it looks like champagne, and it I got a little buzz from champagne. Okay, let's see what's going on with the scrambled eggs. Let's see if this is cooking down. Ah, oh, there it is. It's coming around. It's happening. It's happening. See, this is what happens when you cook on live TV. Because <laughs> I probably would have drained a little bit of this out. And you're sidelined by your really dear friend, Judy Tenuta, who's like amazing, amazing. Anyway, we were trying to get Jay Hewlett on the phone, who's also an amazing comic, but he's not taking our calls. And we're a little worried because he's in California and he shouldn't be out. So where are you, Jay Hewlett? Is he not answering our text? No. Wow. We don't like it. He's not sleeping. What time is it in California? He's taking a nap. That's terrible. Grading papers. Grading papers. Grading papers. Could be grading papers. Okay, I'm getting ready to add the cauliflower rice. Okay. It would be revolting, Daddy. But look what we're doing. Yes. <laughs> I'm, what, the best thing is, we're gonna, I mean, I, I can't guarantee this because it's a little bit more watery than I want, but I'm going to feed it to my friends and family, and we'll see if they die. No. <laughs> we'll see if they like it and if they're happy with it. And the good thing about Jean and Marie, my producer slash everything, they'll eat anything because they're young. Okay, here we go with the cauliflower. This is acting like your rice. Going to help absorb some of that fluid, and we're just going to toss it around a little bit because we want it not to get mushy. This is a lot. I'm like cooking for legions of people here. <laughs> it's like four of us. Hopefully, you guys like the way this looks. It is healthy. There is not rice, so that you don't have the carb. 
a little bit less fluid, but that's because I did use some frozen items, so made a little bit more water than I would like. You have to be honest when you're cooking live, huh? What do you think? Y'all think it looks good? Get close up. Oh, you, that, that camera's no longer working in the pot? No? Is that... Is that a comment or a jam? Yes. Okay, watch. watch. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to start. <laughs> I'm going to be serving some of this lusciousness. Luscious, look at that. It looks like fried rice. I'm going to give it to Jean. She don't eat anything. Um. No, actually, guys, I really love cooking, and I love experimenting, and this is a, a new dish for me as well. But how bad can vegetables with a little brown chicken be? I love my chopsticks. Y'all are going to have to come get this. I dropped a chopstick on the floor, and Lexi's trying to eat it. I think these bowls are super cool. We'll give the boys the most. <laughs> All right, one more. Should we put the cameras on them and see if, how they make out? Can you do the, uh, the overhead zoom in? Oh, on the bowl? Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, put the bowl underneath the overhead. Oh, okay. That I would do. You can probably zoom in. Yeah, there you go. All right, so here we go. It actually looks quite good. Uh, that's good. I'm going to add a little, some, some toe clip. Usually work in the middle. <laughs> some toasted sesame seeds. One more thing to make it look purdy. Some chives. All right, Jean, come get it. Should I come get it? Yes, you should come get it. No one knows the invisible voice of Jean. Oh, wait, let me get you a bigger one. He's got a mask on. He's got his mask on. He doesn't want anybody to. Wants to be safe and he doesn't want anybody. Which one do I get? You get this one, the big one. There's more though. All right, Jean. We want to see you eat it and see how you make out. Okay. Watch out, it's hot. Okay. okay. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to give you one for Marie. Oh, hold on. One for Marie. We have to give, the kids have been working hard, so we have to give them the most. Okay. Starting. Okay. If you want a fork, there's <laughs> one behind you yeah. guys. Okay. All right, Daddy Dog, you ready? Here's your California walk chopsticks. You're welcome. Okay, I'm just gonna watch them eat first. I'm gonna <laughs> No, it's all good. It's all good. So um anyway, what else do we have to show our friends and family out there? You can do one Matt, you can talk about your HSN TS. Oh! Oh my gosh. Okay, so guys, I have um, this incredible today's special. I, I know you boys probably don't know what this is, but um, and then I'm going to ask them what they think about food. Um, it's on February the 4th at midnight. I have an incredible set of bras. They are so beautiful. So I want you to tune in and shop for your lady or have your lady shop or your friend or whoever is in your life that probably needs a new bra. All right, daddy dog, come, come, come. we want to hear what you think about Come on camera. Huh? Come on camera. Uh, why? Because I want you to tell everybody what you think of it. Like what? What you're eating. Oh my god. <laughs> this is absolutely delicious. No, but we want to hear it because no one believes you. No, it's insane. Well, you got to tell him. We know you're scruffy. He's I'm scruffy. scruffy. I'm scruffy, you know, but I have to tell you. All right, tell him what you like about it. This is absolutely delicious. Wait, don't burn your tongue. Well, you know, no, I'm not burning tongue. All right, tell them what's good. What is it? Does it have All a fried it. rice kind of taste? It, it the flavors totally of the fried Chinese? Rice. Um, Does it have like you can put it in lettuce yeah. wraps? Because you could probably put this in no, lettuce and eat really it. Like you, it's, it's nothing delicious. better than if you put this inside a lettuce wrap and eat it like a little sandwich. I am. Wait, tell us. 
Very healthy. Very healthy. And that's crunch. I hear the crunch. Mm -hmm. Oh, he likes it. Daddy John likes Did you try it, Jane? Mm -hmm. Hello. Okay, wait. I'm going to grab a spoon. Because my, my chopstick fell on the floor. Or fork, rather. Don't go away. <laughs> Hang in there. <laughs> Can you also talk about cameo or retreating more? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's something else to talk about, but I have to try this. Let me just try it. All right. It was almost perfect, except I needed to train the vegetables because I was talking to Judy, and she was so fine I didn't do that. But just so you remember, train your vegetables. Hmm. Really good. Mm, really good. Do you want any more soy sauce? Oh, God. Mmm, mmm, so good. And here's the thing, it's really crunchy. It's really, really, really crunchy, like, because I did put those water chestnuts in, and it's really good. You're not oily, really good. Okay, so, really good. Next time I'll add a little bit more fish oil and a little bit more, because I don't measure. But I'll have those measurements for you. A little bit more fish oil and a little bit more sesame oil. Okay, so um, what was I talking about? You talk about retreat or camping? Oh, okay. So here in St. So I live in St. Petersburg, and we're we actually it's open online, but we have a new business called Retreat St. Pete, and it's fabulous. It's a consignment. It's it's got every all prices from very low to very high end. I have a lovely couple that's managing and running the store, Matt and Ashley. And you can be a consigner and actually would love for you to consign with us and make some money off things that are in the closet or in your house already. Because we have furnishings, we have accessories, home goods, clothing, jewelry. And we're literally opening in, in about a week or two weeks from now. And the store is gorgeous. So um, it's totally sustainable. Everybody is really into consignment right now because yeah, okay. it makes sense. Instead of like tossing things away, you know, you can make money on it and someone else will love it. It's their treasure. Maybe they've been looking for that item for a long time and maybe in your closet or in your house. So I'm really proud of it. We've got some beautiful things in. I'm, I know I'm shopping there and I'm just really excited. So, hey. I'm so excited about it. Hey. You can go and check it out right now on the or on Facebook. It's called Retreat St. Pete. One word, RetreatStPete.com. And I'd love you to just check it out. It's really cool. We don't have pictures of the store yet because we actually we, we are just doing it from scratch. But it's it's on a really cool street in uh, St. Petersburg called Central. It's like downtown. It's like hot. It's hip. It's, it's real, really cool. So very excited about that. And um, yeah, and, and RondaShear.com. We have RondaShear.com. So I, I thank you guys for joining me. You know, I wish you guys, do you have any questions for me since I have a little extra time? And, um, oh, okay, so my team is putting up these great things so I can remember things because I can't remember anything. I haven't been live in a few weeks. So um, we have your skin tone. You know, not everybody's nude is the same. So if you go to HS, not HSN, excuse, or you can go to HSN.com, it's certainly Brondashear.com. We have bras and panties in your skin tone, in your nude. So that's something new. We want to be all inclusive of everyone. And um, we want to be sexy and sassy, too. So hold on, guys. I know. I'm not wearing Rhonda clothes, really. I, I don't have the girls out as much. But we're going to have oh, all night coming back. And we're going to have a lot of guests on that you're going to love. We're going to be showing some of those your favorite films that literally I aired on Up All Night back in the day. And we're getting a hold of those. And it's really exciting. We're really hoping to be working with um, Comic-Cons like Wizard World. Um, coming up, obviously we can't do that yet because nothing's open, but I'm talking to Wizard World, I'm talking to um, other conventions where I will be making appearances, and I think that'll just be incredible for all my, and all my past fans and then introducing new fans to that world too. So a lot of great things on the horizon, and um, I'm going to sign off a little bit early tonight because I got I gotta go I gotta go eat my my cauliflower fried rice and have some hair. Cheers. Um, stay safe. Love you guys. I'll be back next week live. I don't know who our guests are going to be. We have some really cool guests in that have been waiting in the wings to come on since last year. So perhaps we'll have them. So I'm not going to make any announcements until we make sure that we get them. But you never know. In the meantime, 
Love you. Thanks for watching. Write us at RondaShearSocialHour.com. Let us know what you want within boundaries. And um, cheer for the Bucks tomorrow. So if it's Rhonda, it's Rhonda Shear Social Hour and up all night. Love and sizzle kisses. Nighty night. Stuck at home and you don't know what to do. Hold on, baby. Rhonda, she's got you. Grab your computer, log on, baby. You got the power.